a Russian citizen in the Maldives a kidnapping. Roman Selezhnyov, a Russian MP's son, was grabbed by U.S. agents on suspicion of stealing credit card information. RT's Gainich Kian has his story. Roman Selezhnyov's family vacation in the Maldives came to an abrupt end when the U.S. Secret Service captured him before whisking him off to a U.S. base in Guam. The U.S., however, had little to say about the circumstances of his arrest. There were accusations made. It's a Department of Justice case. Certainly there was no kidnapping involved. I'm not sure. I, I, maybe kidnapping is a bit too strong. But if someone is in the capital of the Maldives trying to get on a flight to back to Russia, and somehow they're spirited away and they end up in Guam charged with a crime, how, you know, how, how, how is that not abduction? I'm just not going to have much more on this case to offer, Matt. Moscow says Selesnyov's detention is a kidnapping. Selesnyov's father, who is a Russian State Duma deputy, believes it could be a scheme to trade his son for Edward Snowden. But lawyers are doubtful. Mr. Snowden has been granted asylum status in, uh, in Russia. I don't know that, uh, that the U.S. would engage, nor do I know believe really that Russia would engage in any sort of an exchange for those two particular individuals. There is no extradition treaty between Russia and the U.S. Alexei Tarasov's client, Konstantin Yeroshenko, a Russian pilot, was captured in Liberia and sent to the U.S. where he was convicted of drug trafficking. Thailand allowed the U.S. to take hold of Viktor Boot, the Russian arms dealer. Practice of uh, seizing Russian citizens uh, abroad in third countries and then uh, bringing them into the jurisdiction of the United States has become quite common. The U.S. has captured citizens of many countries with this kind of SNAP extradition. Extraordinary renditions have been common practice since 9-11 and detainees' rights have repeatedly been violated. Raman Selizhnyov was shipped to Guam and although the island is in possession of the United States, the U.S. Constitution does not fully apply there which raises more questions as to what rights Raman Selesnyov will have while he's there. In Washington, I'm Ganesh Chekhan, RT. Well, everyone is still...